Hold on, I'm just trying to fix my hair. Honestly, I can never find a hairspray that really works. You guys, let me know a hairspray that you recommend that really works because I feel like when I hairspray my hair and I do things, my hair gets crazy again and then just like have a lot of breakage. I asked what kind of hair do you guys do for the gym. Um, a lot of you guys said braids and stuff. So I actually think I'm going to practice doing my French braids, two French braids on the side. I think that'll be cute. I just need to practice like i know how to do them but i think they'll take long and i definitely need to practice um, because i haven't done them in a long time i don't know if you guys saw that i already went to ikea if not you guys will see it after i start talking i ended up breaking two of my nails um from bringing in what i bought so unfortunately we have to fix our nails but i am doing like a maintenance video so we'll do that in a whole nother video it'll be my birthday maintenance because my birthday is coming up it's on march 16th i'm a pisces girl if you guys are pisces let me know in the comments down below yeah i want to see how many pisces follow me if you guys are like into astrology or anything i'm not like too crazy into it but i do believe some things i'm like wow that is me but i don't know people are always like people that think like that are crazy i'm like i don't know it's pretty accurate sometimes <laughs> It is 10 30. Just finished up with the gym. I'm gonna start off by having a green juice. I'll have a link down below for it, but I love to add ice in it to make it nice and cold. Green juice is really good for digestion, bloating, your energy. I'll be drinking the Bloom Strawberry Kiwi. Um, yeah, it really helps with your gut health, all that good stuff. So I really like to drink my green juice, you guys know. It is Friday night and I'm at Ikea. I just was filming another video, like a portion of it. And then I was like, you know what? Let me go to Ikea because one of my other appointments canceled. So I have time and I'm like, you know what? I have to take some things back to Ikea and then we can look around in Ikea. I haven't been here what feels like a minute, but honestly, it's probably not even been that long. I think the last time I was here was literally a month no literally a month ago what am i even saying i just get really excited being in ikea so i'm gonna just look around see if i like anything i'm starting to get more ideas on decor because i kind of want to implement more black but at the same time i'm still kind of nervous about it so i'm just gonna look around okay i'm thinking this chair i have not put the desk together I might get this one. I might look for some organizers for like my paperwork and stuff, but I don't know. I gotta see how the desk looks first. You guys, look at this lamp. It comes from the top and I think that'd be so cool where my desk area is because I feel like everything on the desk is gonna, like I just want the desk to be clear. So I don't know if I have the desk in the corner where it is right now, I'm thinking about this lamp, but then I'd have to get it on the wall. Another drilling of the wall which i don't know if i want to do but yeah and then there's this cord holder which i thought was cool two of those on the side of my bed i think that'd be cool but again we'd have to drill the wall i kind of like this lamp this is cool wait this decor right here this is kind of a vibe set of two for 21 dollars. what do you guys think of that I don't know where I'd put them though. I gotta think about that. But that is very cool. I can literally be here all day. I wanna get new bedding and I kinda like this one because it's like wrinkly. This is the dye tag. I think I'm gonna get this one or dye tag. And it's real cute. The mom dressing table. I used to have this. I love this. This was like my favorite thing and I didn't want to give it away, but when I went into my one bedroom, I had to. Yeah, if you guys are looking for like a cute vanity table and it wasn't like, you know, it wasn't like far out, which I really liked. It was very like sleek. I think it's like perfect. Should I tell you guys about the fit? Jacket is from Zara. Um, this is a bodysuit. I think it's from like Sirens or something. Jeans are Zara. Purse is Aldo. And then boots are Steve Madden. That's the fit today. It's cute. I gotta start dressing up more because I feel like I never dress up unless I'm somewhere outside of Vancouver. So I gotta get out of here and start dressing up. Oh, this is kind of nice. Wait, that's kind of a vibe. You guys, I really want to do like the pack system in a lot of my room. These look tall though. How cool would that be? Like, look how cool that looks. I love these lights at the top there. I think those look so cool. Oh my god, it's expensive. I'm just thinking what to do with that other room. Office or wardrobe. You know? We're going to the marketplace now to actually look at the stuff and pick out what we want. I think I'm going to get some kitchen stuff. 
I'm kind of set on these pots, this pot set that I saw at Target. But I'm gonna look at the pots here and see if there's any. But I really want like light colored ones. And I saw a nice set at Target, so I might go there and get that. But I'm gonna look here. Look at these blue ones, that's such a vibe. I'm really into pink right now, so no. My favorite color last year was um, blue. So if I saw these last year, I probably would have them. I'm gonna get these, these guys here, to you know, wrap up your bags and stuff. What do you guys think of these? I think these are so cute. I wish they weren't so like tapered in, but they're really cute. Kind of short though. What do you guys think about those? Okay, I think I'm gonna get some new bedding. I'm gonna get this one here. That's twin, but I'm gonna get full one right here. I don't know why, I don't like getting the first ones. So far, all I bought was two things. Guys, this is exactly what I need for my linen. Oops, I'm gonna get it and head. It's like the perfect size, cause yeah, I think it's one. If it's 12 inches wide, this is perfect. It'll fit right beside the toilet and uh, in the second washroom. Or this one, cabinet. Oh, for washing machine, not for toilet. Okay, never mind. Oh, or this. I could get this for the corner. Hmm. What do you think? Oh, that's like way more money. Yeah, maybe not. I just don't want to spend that much. But I feel like this could be ideal. But then again, for the linen, it might look a little awkward. Okay, so I'm thinking this in the corner where the entrance is and then the hallway to get to the first washroom, or like right in the corner. I put that and then I put the linen stuff there. Or this one can actually fit between the toilet and then the sink in the first washroom. Cause I measured it and I think it's about 13 inches wide. So this will just be enough and I can fit all towels and everything in here. I think this might be it. The only reason I don't wanna do that cabinet in the bathroom is because I don't want the towels to be in the bathroom. I don't know, something about it like germs and everything, but at the same time, I'm like, what should I do? That's probably the cheapest option. Yeah, we're gonna do another moving log episode four i'm gonna be putting together a new desk that i got from flexi spot they will be sponsoring today's video um it should be arriving in the next couple hours i'm gonna try to attempt to build it if not this will go into another day and I'm gonna get my dad to do it because he does for sure have to do the cabinet because I think the cabinet has to go against the wall, like drilled into the wall. So I don't know how to do that because I think it would need to have like the anchors and I don't really know all that stuff. So I'm gonna leave it to him before I ruin my walls. So I was thinking to put the cabinet here because this is like 13 inches wide and the cabinet that I saw at Ikea was 12 inches wide and then it was 12 inches wide this way, which I didn't realize obviously that the door opening will have more inches to it. So I turned the toilet paper roll to this side. So I'm thinking maybe there's enough room to open the door, but if not, I actually might not be able to put the cabinet in here. I was gonna use that cabinet for towels. That way I actually have an area to put the towels and I can be more organized but I actually don't think it'll fit there anymore so I was thinking maybe to just put it outside in that corner but at the same time I don't know I have like all my boxes recycling and stuff like that just piling up there my laundry basket I still need to figure out my room situation that'll be another video because I don't want to just be too overwhelmed I think I'm gonna work on my second bedroom office area and I did get a chair from Ikea as well um, like an adjustable one I think it'll look really good I'm really excited to see how it goes when I was working on that small desk it was kind of tiring I always just wanted to like move around and go to like a different room I try to edit on my couch I try to edit on the island I would just move so I think standing up while editing it might actually be kind of 
interesting like i don't know if it's gonna be a good thing or um yeah but i've seen a lot of people use them so i'm really excited to stand up and edit my videos and then there's the option of obviously adjusting the desk down and then using a chair so i got a comfortable chair and hopefully it all works out my acrylic chair actually is breaking let me show you guys that room actually before we get started with it this is the room so i will be taking out that desk right there and the chair and putting in a whole new desk and chair and this chair was definitely on its last straw you guys can see it literally when i was sitting here one day all i heard was a pop i broke the chair because i would honestly put all my weight on it like i would sit crisscross on this and just move around a lot i would honestly use this as like a stool and step on it when i would get certain things i don't know like i just overused this chair i've had it for years so i guess it was time to go and then i might want to de clutter my dresser i'm not sure but that's kind of what it's looking like i have like clothes that are stacking up on top so i have to declutter but yeah guys i think i'm just gonna talk to you guys once i get the desk so okay i'm gonna move this actually i should have did this before i brought the boxes in but i'm gonna move this desk outside of the room So I'm going to open this up. I'll tell you guys how hard it was to do. Okay, this is what the desk is going to look like. Okay, plug in. So in this little box, there was some wheels, but to be honest, I don't, like I already flipped it over and I kind of like, do I need to like turn it around and stuff? I don't. So I think I'm gonna keep these in case I do want to switch it up and add these.
Look at the desk. This is the final result of the desk. I am obsessed. So like I said, you guys, this video is sponsored by FlexiSpot. They did gift me this desk, but let me tell you guys, I already had an idea of the desk that I wanted and this was the exact one. So I specifically asked for this desk. So this is a customized desk and I did ask for the glass top. I asked for it to be all white. This desk is the Calm Heart standing desk with drawers. So this is the drawer here. Very, very small. Honestly, it just fits like um, three big books, I guess I would say. Three big, thick books like that. And then I do keep all my pens and stuff on top of the desk, which you guys see. I don't want to take the stickers off, but I will anyways. So this is a sticker for the LED display. So that's the on and off button. And then you have a C port for your iPhone. And then you have two USB ports here. And then you have these one, two, and three, and four. Those are going to be like for helping with resets and stuff like that. This is your up, this is your down. So, and I could just press it and it will go up and it will go down. This is definitely my favorite feature of the desk. And then I love the glass top. I think it just looks so sleek, so clean. Um, and then you guys know, just like my whole setup. I think this just really elevated it. They also have other things on their website if you guys want to check them out. So I'll have everything linked down below. Um, but they are known for their standing desks. So I've seen a few people have these and I've been obsessed ever since. I've always wanted a... Okay, my camera died, but oh, I think it's done. No update. I know there's like a lot of benefits to standing desks, so maybe I should just look into that real quick. Standing desk benefits. Okay, so the benefits I'm seeing for standing, uh, it increases your mood, boosts your productivity, energy, so helps you lose weight. I don't know about that one. I never knew that. But I'm assuming because you're not like sitting down all the time, so it would help you with losing weight. Improves your mental focus. I feel like that's the same thing as productivity. Reduces caffeine intake. Interesting. Lowers your risk of disease. I don't know about all the other things, but I'm really in it for productivity and energy and improving my mental focus because I do find when I'm like sitting at the desk and I'm constantly like hunched over and I'm like working, I do find it's a little bit hard for me to focus. I'll of course let you guys know about that if you guys are interested in knowing. Yeah, that is all about the desk, you guys. Anyways, I'm kind of in the mood to get some more like building done. So I kind of want to do the cabinet that I want to put in the bathroom. I kind of want to start it now. Um, I texted my dad earlier and he said he was working. So I don't know, and it is during the week now. So I feel like he'll be working all week. So if I do need help or him to like maybe put it to the wall, Maybe that's what I'll get him to do, um, but I could probably build the thing. Um, so maybe I'm gonna try doing that. Okay, I'm just wearing a sweater and the shorts still. I'm gonna do the bathroom cabinet. And I just started watching the Love Island games. So I'm gonna watch that while I'm doing this. I'm just gonna fast forward you guys. I finally finished but I put it here this is the finished cabinet and it can open now I need like a knob or something because it's not easy to open I put like my laundry stuff there and then the towels so I don't know if I should keep it here I was thinking this and then honestly I was kind of like low-key thinking not even to have this as my linen closet because it seems quite tight like even these towels I had to like fold them and then they just look so chunky you know what I mean so a part of me wants to put the cabinet like right here and then just have it for my desk I don't know if that's like would be nice but anyways yeah I was kind of thinking to put it there so maybe I'll try that tomorrow but for now I'm so exhausted putting the door on was really annoying it kind of reminded me of the best of stand and I ruined the best of stand so I feel like I kind of messed with this one and honestly I think it does need legs or it does need to be pinned to the wall because this door like won't open and I have to move the carpet 
I need a knob. I thought it came with one because when I looked in Ikea, there was one there. So I don't know, it was really weird, but this is the cabinet. Let me know what you guys think. So it's like that when you walk in, which I don't know why, but that opening right there, I thought it was more tighter, but I tried to like tighten them. I don't even know how, um, cause this side looks nice, nice and like closed, but that's the side that opens and it's annoying to open. And I'm really happy I finished it though. And now I have like this stuff to put away or I can put that in the corner there. I don't know. I just thought that little nook was like perfect, but I'm just trying to figure out if I want it right there or maybe put it in the corner here. The only thing is I put it in the corner and then now I'm realizing that it's opening the other way. So it's opening on the wall, you know? I don't know if you guys get it, but look at all this stuff that I have to put all the stuff that I have to put down to recycling. It's a lot of boxes and garbage. I am starving. I have one last meal. Um, I have one last meal left for HelloFresh. This is the Caesar turkey burgers. I'm gonna make this and it comes with some salad. And I think I'm gonna relax for the rest of the night once I make my food. And then I'll show you guys the I'll show you guys what I decide because I think I'll make up my mind tomorrow where I want to put that cabinet. Um, because with the daylight and everything, I feel like I'll have more of an idea. But right now, that's where I put it. It's definitely not going in my bathroom though, that's for sure. I just finished my shower, got on these cute little PJs or like silk PJs. I just tucked it in. I got these from where did I get these from? Ardeans. And it's like a cute little heart. I got them around Valentine's Day, but I never wore these ones. Um, I wore different ones. I'm probably not gonna film too much because honestly, you guys, I'm exhausted and filming can take some time. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make food. I'm also gonna drink my LaCroix. This is the guava one. I totally forgot. I got a shower head that I need to see if I am going to keep from Amazon before I can't return it anymore. And I think I only have like a week left. So I have to hurry up and put that one on my shower, test it out, see if it works. Otherwise I have to return it by, I think it's the 8th of March or whatever, but yeah. Okay. This is the meal. It's a Caesar turkey burger and then just a salad with Italian dressing on the side. Honestly, it looks pretty plain, but I think it'll be really good. Hi, I'm Katinina. This is my Lulu. This is Lulu. She's calling me Lulu because that's the nickname her mom gives me. <laughs> Can you see yourself? Uh -huh. I will. What you doing, Lulu? I'm making a scrunchie. Yay! Watch your fingers. Yeah. 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 That's good. No, keep going. Wow. Oh. Yeah. But this is for, this is for me to clean. Okay. Because this is. Yeah, clean. I did it myself. You did it all by yourself. Uh, we're just gonna go like this, okay, babe? Just like that, okay? No, babe. I think they're done. Look. Guys, I don't want this one. What, babe? This one. Oh, sorry, baby. Let's take it off. Here. I'm sorry, Babush. The chef is done cooking. Got it, babe? Okay. Who made that? Lulu did. No, baby. You made it, remember? No, I made it, too. Mm. It's good. You Yay! Made, you made the food so good. Mm -hmm. So good. Hi, buddy. I'm eating. I'm the one. But I need to hype them up. You need to hype them up? Yep. How are you going to do that? In the eggy. In the oven eggy is cut. We don't get it for one. It'll be done. Well, you know. Mm -hmm. So today I've been with my niece all day. She got here at like seven in the morning. We made some breakfast, got all ready for the day. We went to the park. Then we went to another little play area in like the mall. 
and then we went like to a couple stores and walked back home so she was exhausted when she got back we got back around 2 p.m so she literally passed out i'm not gonna lie i passed out as well so you want to say hi to everybody okay i have a little stool here who are you what's your name what did we do today no i'm saying what did we do we went to the park Park. And then we went to another little play area in the in the mall, remember? Mm -hmm. And then we walked around the mall, right? Yeah, we went away. We got a couple snacks. We went to the store. Ah. Huh? Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> when we got back from doing our little errands, I got a package from Amazon. Um, I got my experiment tea. I was actually going to make one earlier, but I'm going to have this later. Or does it have caffeine? Oh, no minty and sweet some of you guys have been recommending it i think it's for hormonal acne or whatever so i got that also it was in my last video i got the i got the super green tea of matcha and i totally said it was like matcha in the video but are you mimicking me no you're copying me anyways long story short i ended up getting real matcha because that was a green tea matcha so i actually got real matcha this is it here Oh, I'm just talking to the camera. After I drop her off, I'll probably drop her off pretty soon after I juice uh, because she just woke up and yeah, I don't want her to go home too late. I got these hooks from Amazon as well for the towels. I'm gonna put these on the door. I honestly had nowhere to hang and I just hate folding them back like after I have like a fresh new towel. I'll probably do that today and then I'm also gonna change the shower head and let you guys know if that shower head is better and i got it from amazon as well which i'll let you guys know all the details once i do that I did get like the whole matcha set in the back oh yeah i didn't even show you guys which matcha set i got i always forget to show you guys what exactly i've gotten for my place and um, because i get so excited and i undo it so i got this matcha set from amazon and this is what it was called i got this milk frother as well because that's like a faster way i've seen of making matcha so i have the traditional way which is that set back there and then this is like with the milk frother um i don't have one and i also want it for my green juices as well but now i've realized they have a pink one so i kind of want to take it back and get a pink one i don't know if i want to use this yet so i'm gonna think about that like i said we did some errands today so we went into some stores we went into walmart and i got this pot set it's like a three-piece set i don't have or not a pot set what am i saying this is a sheet set my baking sheets are old and dusted so i'm gonna throw those out and i got this set here because i like how it's small medium and large so i got these ones from nordic wear i've never tried them they had good reviews though on google and then i got these command holders for the wall to pin them to so for my broom my swiffer and then i think i have like a few bathroom wall cleaners as well so so that's all i got but right now i'm gonna quickly juice up some carrots uh, some celery and I think I think my lemons went bad but I'm gonna try to see if I can juice them before um, because I do still have all that ginger so I'm gonna see if I can make my ginger shots as well so I got this trick off of TikTok but it's literally just cheese in a tortilla and you put this in a toaster so you fold it like in half and then you fold it another way oh also I took off my nails you guys um, I'm gonna toast this though and that's how you make her little quesadillas um it gets a little burnt like on the corner here but literally that's it they're like perfect I'm gonna get to juicing and then I will get back to you guys. She's gonna try celery juice for the first time. Let's see what she says about it. Here, you want me to drink it again? Look, it's good. Mmm. Do you actually like it? I only made one thing of celery juice and one thing of carrot juice. So tonight you should go and take 
So I made the Trader Joe's chicken fried rice, which I've never tasted before. I'm kind of nervous to have like frozen chicken, but I'm gonna try it. I added some green beans and I added another egg. So there wasn't much protein, like I didn't really get that much chicken. And then um, some like soy sauce and like all that. I have to take out my contacts. I don't know if you guys can tell. It looks like I'm like crying, but yeah, I have to take out my contacts. I think I've had them in for too long and I kind of took a nap with them. So yeah, I think they're just like getting red now and I have to take them out. Breakfast. I love Cholula, so I'm gonna put this on it. Literally everywhere. Good morning, you guys. I honestly can't even see right now because I don't have my contacts. I can see, but like you guys are blurry. So if it's out of focus, I'm sorry. I couldn't put my contacts in because last night I didn't even end up doing the shower thing. My eyes were really, really red. I've been using some eye drops, so hopefully they'll get better, but they're really like, I don't know, kind of like irritated right now like I feel like they're just kind of like a little bit sore and I thought I was getting pink eye because this eye last night I looked in the mirror after I took off my contacts and they were like this eye was so red so I never ended up doing the shower head so I think I'll do that today the shower heads here honestly I feel like the shower head's gonna be kind of hard to put in anyways so I got this off of Amazon. I'm kind of nervous to do it, not gonna lie. And I really just wanted to shower last night. So I was like, you know what, let me do it tomorrow. So we're gonna do it today. Um, I'm actually on my way to go to the gym though. Just drinking my Celsius, going to the gym, getting a workout in. Yeah, I'm not gonna film it or anything because I feel like this video will just get too long. I did my hair in a cute little braid. Honestly, when my hair is like short, I don't think the braid's that cute. I also have to get laser again on the side here. This is the fit for the gym. I'm going to head there right now. Um, I'm wearing actually all gym shark. I honestly tried to wake up at five in the morning today and I just couldn't do it. So I was trying to do like a little 5 a.m. workout, but I just couldn't. And I was like, cause I went to sleep kind of early yesterday. I was laying in bed at 9 30, um, passed out, I think around like 10, 10 30. These are the legacy ruched tight shorts. They have like the ruching here that I can like pull up if I wanted. And then in the the back i don't know if you guys can see it has like their little logo here and i'm just wearing a baggy tee this was actually in the men's section um this one i think i got navy i'm getting confused with navy and titanium blue um but this is the heritage washed t-shirt and it's oversized i got this in a size at medium because it's oversized it's the cozy land shower head with hand shower so it looks like that camera died you guys i don't know if i got this on properly um and the battery's low so i just turned you guys on i didn't even change the battery i'm gonna try it and let you guys know so i'm gonna put it right For now, that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, oh crap, you know what? You can see my body with this one, so I'm probably gonna have to turn it during my videos. to clean my shower real bad there's like soap literally everywhere i'm like seeing pieces that i feel like i missed i got these storage bins that i got from target i'm gonna put them on the side here but i honestly don't have anything to put in them so there is no organizing here i think i also put on these hooks and now i can finally hang up my towel they're from the bright room stackable bins and they fit really perfectly in here i'll show you guys take off the stickers because I'm not filling them today and honestly taking off the stickers is kind of annoying.
These are the command strips that I'll be using. I don't know if I could fit four, but I have two so far. I have these four things that I need to hook. So we'll see. So I put three there for now. I actually don't think I'm gonna, I don't think I'm gonna get one to hook on for this one because this is pretty heavy and I honestly feel like it'll eventually rip that off because I was gonna put it like right there, which would be fine, but I think I'm honestly just gonna sit this one there um, because it still fits there. I don't know, it doesn't look messy. I'm sitting here editing my video and I realized I didn't even close it out. So I need to show you guys, well, there's not much to show in here, honestly. I know in the video, I kind of said that I was gonna do my dresser, but that's like a whole nother video in itself. So I'm gonna wait to do the rest of this room later. I still wanna decide if I should do this room as an office and a closet, um, because that's what I'm kind of feeling. Like I kind of wanna get the pack system from Ikea um all over this wall i don't know let me know what you guys think if you guys have the packs wardrobe let me know because i know you can customize it and make it as like big as you want so obviously i just have this wall here and then i was thinking maybe to put a big mirror there that way i have like a little get ready area you know so i don't know just some ideas but that's what i'm thinking and then i didn't do anything in my living room as per usual but i went shopping yesterday so i'll show you guys that stuff in a second um kitchens same as usual and then i actually put the carpets here both of them because I don't know if I told you guys so I moved the carpet from here because it wasn't opening the linen closet I actually just ended up keeping the linen closet here I think what I'll do is get my dad to pin it to the wall and then rise it up a little bit and I'm gonna buy these um, knobs again for this one so that they match that's what I'm thinking for that and then I just have my laundry basket here or I might move this I really don't know you guys I'm still I'm still pretty indecisive about where I want to put this um, and then this is just like recycling I have to take down my TV box I think I need to store at my mom's just in case I need to have the box for moving purposes so but we can go through all the stuff that I got yesterday I don't know if you guys tell but when I was cooking with my niece I was using a pot to make the eggs and yes I know that's not what you're supposed to use but for these other pans it's just been such a struggle to keep cleaning it so I ended up getting this pot set from Target this is a seven piece I don't think I need the 12 I think it was 12 or 11 I think it was 12 um, but it was the bigger size of this one and this is what I got so I haven't unpacked it I'm gonna do it now so I can clean them and dry them um, so I can use them later today it came with three felt pan protectors I guess to store them so that's nice I'm gonna keep these I'm gonna take it all out and then I'll show you guys what I got this is what I got I got one big pot which is nice and large so I got a smaller pot with a handle um, also with a lid and then I want to say this is a pasta pan because it's like thick. But a nice big pan here with a lid. And then I just have this other frying pan with no lid. Kind of wish it had a lid. I was thinking one of those lids would work with this one as well. So that's the pot set. I love it. I cannot wait to use. And then I went to Home Goods as well. I got this plush decorative pillow, which is so cute. I'm going to use this, I think, for the bed. And then I found this really cute spring sheet set. This is um, from Laura Ashley. Very much spring vibe. I actually saw the strawberry bedding that I really wanted. Um, and I was looking all over it because I only saw it in Queen and then I finally found it in full and then right beside the full was these ones here and I actually was like you know what I actually like these ones better and, and this is like the perfect spring bedding so the last thing I got was these LED lights that are sticker lights these are portable and battery operated and I was thinking to put them in the washroom here I don't know if I told you guys but the lighting in this bathroom is terrible because there's no like little light on the mirror like my other bathroom so I found these at home goods and I was like you know what let me stick these on to the mirror here and I think it'll look really good so let's do that right now I actually don't have enough batteries unfortunately so I think I can only do maybe three what sucks about these is they take four batteries four AA batteries so that's quite a bit of batteries that you have to put in these Oops. Do you guys kind of see the vision? Like it's actually really cute. I think I could get another set 
because one more can fit at the top. Let me see if another one will fit, and that way I can go back. Literally, you guys, one more will fit right here. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go back and grab, I think, another set. Yeah, another set, and I'll actually have two extra, which I'll put at the top there. So I'm gonna go do that, but that's the end of today's video. I'm gonna go ahead and end this video so I can edit it for you guys and get it out for you guys as soon as possible. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you guys do enjoy these type of videos, and then leave a comment down below. If you do wanna see more of me, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.